You probably heard the news that uh, they found a live hand grenade. Someone donated a live hand grenade to a Goodwill in Wisconsin, like this morning. Uh, it was from World War II and it was corroded, but you don't ever want to assume a hand grenade is safe. That's a good uh, rule of thumb to keep your thumbs. <laughs> So we're, we're at a Goodwill right here, and we're going to go in and look for some hand grenades. First thing you do when you're looking for hand grenades at Goodwill is go to the coat rack. Didn't find any hand grenades. Did find this Eddie Bauer Premium Goose Down Women's Extra Small Quilted Jacket. I like it quite a bit, but they wanted $12 for it, and I'd say market value is about $30 or $40. Uh, and the numbers just don't add up for resale. I don't want to work 10 minutes to make $2. Then, t-shirts. So I cool Detroit Tigers promotional item right there. I think it might be a bootleg, to be honest. Then I saw this Triple X Team Razor CounterLogic Gaming Esports jersey. Big guy. Big guy clothes. Uh, I saw one of these for sale currently on eBay for 60 bucks. I paid three in the store. I might go at like 55, try and make like 40 bucks when it's all said and done, or I may auction it off. I'm not sure. Then some fish. That's a little bit of foreshadowing. Didn't buy fish. What I did buy was a Sony Ultra HD Blu-ray player. Uh, the model number is, let me look, UBPX700. These go for between 80 and 115, uh, 80 on eBay, 150 on Amazon. I will sell mine used on Amazon. Now, the grand finale. What do we have here? We have a, a wonderful find. Murano glass art. Look at that. I can't date it with the sticker. I'm guessing 70s or 80s, maybe 60s. If you know more about this than me, please educate me. This was a pair. It came with a heart. You'll see it in a second. Don't worry. Uh, someone obviously passed away, unfortunately. Uh, and their collection was donated to a Goodwill. Uh, they priced it very fairly. I never find this stuff. Uh, I've been doing this for over a decade. And I've probably found Murano glass at thrift stores four times, five times. And so to find this much really was a very rewarding experience. That was an Eggerman check piece, not Murano. But the rest of it is Murano. This one's hand signed. Uh, I've actually seen the pair, the heart-shaped one you're looking at right now, and it's like a, maybe a wine decanter or a bottle, the first one you saw. I've seen that pair uh, go for 500 bucks in on antique store websites. So those will be sold separately. These spherical paperweights I may auction off together. All in all, a very cool find. All right, so no hand grenades. That was pretty disappointing. I was really hoping to find some sort of weapon. If I throw those Murano glass paperweights, those would do some damage, so not a total loss, but I'm just kidding. Very excited to find those. I wanted to take you back to my warehouse and give you a better look at all these. Uh, these are not a pair. You can see they're different sizes, but those are a pair. Those are not a pair. Those are a pair, and then that is the um, maybe it's a carafe, I don't know, a decanter or a, or a carafe, and a heart that I was telling you about. And uh, the bottom of that's signed. So uh, a few things just to know about these uh, and how I'll sell them and how I'll, I'll package them because I think that probably, you know, if you're this far into the video, you're curious. So I paid about $75 for all of these. It was 80 bucks um, for the whole bill so actually, I only paid about $61 because I forgot I bought that Ultra uh, HD Blu-ray player. So these two, Eggerman. I will sell these most likely as a lot, and I will be uh, very... I'll use a lot of bubble wrap. Um, there are, you know, not quite heavy, but they're kind of heavy. Uh, they, I think to get the glass so crystal clear, they include lead i think that's the secret to making it so nice and lead is heavy i will sell these two egg-shaped ones together i have to research these tags because i'm sure that there's someone out there who has a blog that tells you what year they're from with the tags probably 
I should be questioning if that actually is Murano. If that actually is Murano. And if this actually is Murano. Because these are the three ones that are not tagged. Everything else, those uh, seven items are tagged. I think because they're all together, that's a safe, a safe estimate. Someone once told me you can tell by uh, the bottom who made them. Uh, whether it's a sanded rough bottom or if it's like this. And I forget which one is the cheap one and which is the nice one. Because these are, you know, from a, a technical standpoint, not that difficult to make. There are lots of reproductions out of China and you have to be wary of those. That does bring up the question, are these fake Chinese knockoffs? I don't think so. It's very difficult to imitate a weathered tag like that, but um, they could be. If I didn't see exact uh, comparables on professional antique store websites, then I would be a lot more uh, skeptical. And I am, just to, you know, just, just to be safe, just because I've been doing this for so long, I am skeptical of these. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a better look. Um, my channel is devoted to making money. One of those ways I make money is by reselling things that I get at thrift stores or auctions or estate sales or garage sales. And if you like that, I encourage you to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys later.